So today we're gonna go through something that I promised quite a while ago, and we're gonna be going through the networking at my new house. Um, I've been quite busy lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on. I've had a lot of videos I've had to make, and I just haven't had time to do this one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through the network as promised. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through in kind of two sections. We're gonna do the physical part of the hardware, uh, the physical part of the network, sorry. So we're gonna do the uh, connections all around the house. We're gonna go through the APs and stuff, and then we're gonna go through the server rack. And then we're gonna go through the software side of things. So I'm gonna show you all of my Ubiquiti setup, um, the general sense of how I have things going and just a pretty general idea. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and go into the physical stuff first. All right, so we've got my G4 Pro doorbell here. It is the PoE model. So I have an ethernet cable behind here that is also going down to my uh, Dream Machine SE. And then paired with that, I have the doorbell chime that I installed. So that's working out really, really well so far. I had some issues with the cable for a little bit and with the actual doorbell, but got that all figured out and fixed. I'm in my guest room, but basically every single wall in every room has an ethernet jack. Um, every wall, I have them put one in mainly so that I just have a lot of flexibility. It's easier to do all the build in the house than it is to do it afterwards. So basically every room has at least one ethernet wall, sorry, one ethernet jack per wall, um, except for like this wall, cause there's no point. And then I have two APs. So we can see here, I have the first, uh, this is upstairs. So this is the U6 Pro. Um, great job. This one basically covers majority of the house on its own. And um, I had them wire that one as well. And then I was able to install them once I moved in. And then I have another one downstairs. So let's go ahead and check that out. And I do have a third one. I have a U6 in wall, but I'm not currently using it anywhere. And the only time I would really end up using it is if I end up needing the additional PoE ports and more coverage, but as of right now, I don't. Here's the other U6 Pro. This one is kind of in my living room facing the backyard. So it gets the rest of the house and the whole backyard so that hopefully I'm all good when using the backyard. My backyard's all dirt right now. So can't really do too much testing of that. But so far my Wi-Fi coverage has been fantastic. I can basically walk the entire outside of my house, the whole property, and I can get Wi-Fi signal even walking away from my house. I get Wi-Fi signal for quite a while. So it's working pretty well. And above my TV that's not currently mounted, you can see that I do have ethernet jacks for the TV on the wall, although it's a little bit higher than I wanted. There's also an ethernet jack below. And then, you know, I got another ethernet jack. I got ethernet jacks everywhere. I even got an ethernet jack in the kitchen. Um, just there. So, I mean, I got Ethernet jacks out the wazoo. Um, so other than that, I have my network server downstairs. So let's go check that out. All right, and here is the network rack right now. So we've got all of the cables coming in from the rest of the house, both inside and outside. We've got my fiber box here. We've got a UPS to just make sure that things don't shut off immediately when power goes out every once in a while actually hasn't happened too much so that's been great i got a whole bunch of mess here i got to clean up and then we have the actual rack itself so we got a patch panel we have my uh, ubiquity dream machine se and then i have a two and a half gig switch in there that is connected to the dream machine using an sfp uh, 10g cable and then i've got my raspberry pi in there i've got my my lutron uh, controller there and then we got the server there, which I have to rearrange and do all that as well. Because that's actually going to go into a table, not this box that's upside down. But we're going to do a lot of this for the video. And all these cables are all going to get organized into that patch panel. I've been waiting to do that for the video. I've only currently terminated the ones that I'm needing right now. And the devices that are plugged in directly to the Dream Machine are the ones that need PoE. So things like my doorbell, doorbell chime, and the APs. And then most of the other stuff is being plugged in there. And then I haven't really plugged in anything else. I'm just plugging in them as I need them really. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and terminate the rest of these cables. 
We're going to get them all installed into the patch panel, making it look nice and pretty. And then we can go ahead and uh, show you my network from the software side of things. Okay, so I've recorded the rest of the video. It's getting pretty long. I don't really have the time to punch down all of these things right now and get the video edited and get everything done before I gotta go from my house um, today, basically, or tomorrow. Um, but if you guys are interested in me walking through how I do all of these cables and install them into the patch panel, let me know down in the comment section below and I will make sure that I, if, if enough people want to, I will go ahead and record all of that and do a separate video just on setting up the rack with all of the patch panel stuff. Um, so let me know, but otherwise we're just going to go up into the software and we're going to take a look at how I have the network set up from that side of things. All right, so let's go ahead and do the software side of things now. So we're going to go into my DMSE, which is the Dream Machine Special Edition. And here is a full overview of my network right now. If we go into the topology, we can see that this is basically everything that's plugged in right now or connecting in some way. So we have the bell coming in to the Dream Machine and then that kind of splitting out. We have the Lutron Smart Bridge, which is controlling some of my lights. We have my server PC that's in my office that records all my videos and I use that for streaming. We have the Node server, which is the one that I built in the video a couple weeks ago. Um, that one does all of my like Plex and home automation stuff and all of that. We have my front door chime, which goes with my front door camera. We have the first U6 Pro, which is the one that was upstairs. That one has a bunch of items connected to it. Then we have the main floor one, which is a bunch of other items connected to it. We have my pie hole, which I also showed the setup of in another video. We have the desktop, which is what we're using right now. And then we have the front door, which I mentioned. And then the U6 wall, that one that I mentioned before, it is currently unplugged, I'm not currently using it. Now, the main thing that I wanted to talk about in my network is actually how I have the network set up. So I have my network segregated right now and it's working pretty well. It took me a while to get it figured out, especially since using the pie hole for all of my DNS stuff caused a few things to have to change, but I think I got things working. So I have these multiple network set up right now. And what a VLAN is, is it's basically a virtual network that allows me to segregate items. And then with that, I can get a lot more control. And so for example, my guest network can't properly talk to any of the other networks. Um, it is basically completely isolated. It is as if they are on their own network and they can't talk to any of my local devices or anything like that. My IOT network, is very similar. It is not able to talk to anything other than my server. And that allows it to talk to Home Assistant and a few other things. Um, I have the ports all selected so it can only talk to certain things. So that's pretty awesome. My cameras are somewhat isolated so that it's just a lot easier to manage those. My external currently doesn't have anything on it. And then my default has access to all of the VLANs um, so that I can do everything whenever I need to on any of my devices. And then I have my Wi-Fi split up based on those somewhat. So these are my uh, five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz uh, networks. Most things are not connecting to the 2.5, but I do, or the 2.4, sorry, but I do have some older devices that don't connect to five gigahertz, which is why I have that one set up. I then have my guest network, which Again, connects directly to the guest network. And then I have my IoT Wi-Fi, which is connecting directly just to the uh, IoT network. So everything is set up pretty well. It's working really well. I have set up quite a few rules in order to get this one going properly. So if you are curious, these are what my rules look like right now. And things are working pretty well so far. I'm pretty happy with it. It did take a while again for me to get that set up. And then if we wanted to go ahead and look at my ports, as I mentioned, most of the things that are plugged in directly to the Dream Machine SE are things that are requiring PoE. Now, the reason the node is appearing here um, and the pie hole is appearing here, for example, is those, oh, actually the pie hole, I do have plugged in directly to the SE. The node is actually plugged into the switch that is plugged into that SFP port. 
and it doesn't identify it because that switch doesn't communicate with the Dream Machine SE because it's not a Ubiquiti product. So it's just gonna say whatever is the most active device on there. Technically, my main computer is also on there, my server computer is on there, and then the node server as well. Um, but this is the way I can kind of see all of that. Ubiquiti's UI is pretty great. I'm pretty happy with it so far. This is my first real uh, interaction with it. And then I also have my cameras, which I can access from here as well. But so far, everything's working really, really well. I have pretty good connection right now, 2.4 um, up and down. I am given three, but the Dream Machine SE can't do everything um, at that speed. So I'm just getting 2.4 up and down. Not a big deal right now. So that's what my network looks like right now. Again, this has taken me quite a while to get to the spot that I'm in. I moved here back in March and it's about mid July now. And I just recently got my IOT working the way that I wanted to that network. It was a little bit finicky. Uh, I went to the Ubiquiti forums to get some help. I asked some people individually to get some help. Finally got things working with the whole pie hole because that the pie hole really threw a wrench in there, but got everything working. Um, if I'm really curious what you guys think about my network, if you have any questions, or comments about how I have things set up. If you have any suggestions on things that I can do better, please let me know. Um, but overall, I am super happy with my networking right now. Everything is working the way I want it to. I do have to end up doing all of those additional patch cables so that all of the ports in my house are actually working. Um, but I'm not really doing a lot of that stuff right now. I've been really busy with a lot of other stuff. So I just really haven't had the time and I'm not using all those ports at the current moment. So that's where that's at right now. Um, with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. As always, if you have questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you want to see any of the other videos about my new house, or if you want to see the videos that I talked about where it is the pie hole and sharing your Wi-Fi using uh, the QR codes, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.